All right, guys. Hey, so here. Uh, uh, this is going to be fun. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Here. What? Uh, a couple days ago, I think we made a post on our Facebook. Yeah. 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 We got a little. I thought it was genius. Kind of got yeah. some I thought it was genius. Yeah, yeah. We got a little bit of hate. There was a little bit of shade thrown our way. Yeah, so yeah. I'll go ahead. I'll, I'll put it up on the screen uh, for everybody watching in YouTube land. But but the, the premise here has got a picture of people uh, climbing the Berlin Wall and it says socialism. So good people climb 15 feet high walls at risk of being shot to get away from it. <laughs> and I just want to read through some of these comments we have here. By the way, thank you for commenting. Yes, absolutely. Um, and I, I'm not going to go into all the conversations that, that spawned off it. But um, despite anyone's feelings about socialism, this is pretty disingenuous. The... Uh, the point is to say it was socialism that made them want to leave is like saying the reason Japanese Americans risk being executed to escape internment camps was to escape capitalism. <laughs> that was a pretty good quote. How stupid to confuse socialism with communism. Most European countries are socialist. The U.S. has a lot of socialist programs. <coughs> true, true. This was communism. People were trying to escape from Different from socialism. Uh huh. Uh huh. I, I saw that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so can, can I can I chime in here? Absolutely. I, yeah. I will. Uh, this is uh, th that particular meme was a picture of people climbing the Berlin Wall. The Berlin Wall was separating Soviet Germany from uh, from, from capitalist Germany. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and and Soviet Germany was was controlled by the Soviet Union or the USSR. Uh, the union, what did that stand for? Again? The Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. Right. Uh, it, the USSR was in fact socialist. Now, uh, can, can you argue that it was was communist as well? Socialism is an economic system. Communism is both an economic system and a political system. Okay, um, go ahead. Well, it's interesting that you say that because when I look at the way people use the word. And, and it's become a really blurry line. Yeah, it really has. That's not the difference I see. Yeah. The difference I see in socialism and communism is where communism is a strict adherence to the the idea of communalism. Yeah. Well, and there's a difference between communism and communalism, too. Yes, yes. Yeah. yes. Um, socialism allows for some extent, and this varies, of um, personal property. That's right. So, uh, here, here's the big difference. Uh, when Karl Marx and, and Engels came out with the idea of, of communism, the Communist Manifesto, not a new idea, but they're the ones yes. that give it its name. Mm -hmm. They taught that there would be no classes. Everybody right. would be absolutely equal. Now, if you want to argue that the Soviet Union had no classes, you need to go back and look at your history books. Yeah. Because without a doubt, there was the rich and then there was everyone else. Yeah. What they didn't have was a, was a modern class structure like we would understand it. Uh, that's not communism. Yeah. By any stretch, because there was a degree of private ownership. Now, it was one group of people that got to do it. I think of uh, uh, in the 1960s, a question was asked of the premier of the Soviet Union. Uh, and the question was, why do you have so much while these people have so little? And his answer was that in the Soviet Union, some people are more equal than others. Yeah. Was that like a translation error or something? I don't because think so. I don't think so. I, the I, nature I, of the word equal. Well, I, I, I think what... I think what they were trying to say was in in their con in their understanding of what communism was that that there, there was still equality. It was uh, you know there was the equality of this class and the equality of that class. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Well, go ahead. well and, and and that very analog nature of socialism, where it has this very ambiguous idea of some personal property, has allowed the socialist um, uh, proponents to come through and make this this. <laughs> This really, I consider it disingenuous, but the, this really broad argument about what socialism is, and, and, and they're allowing themselves to take the entire middle spectrum, just saying that it, it, it's kind of a socialist state if you even, even everything else was completely free market, but you had a publicly funded military. Yeah. And they're saying on the same hand that it's a socialist state if if it's nearly completely communistic, but you're allowed to keep some amount of personal wealth, and then they get to cherry pick the ones that's, they like out true. of that. And what we have to realize as as economists or or political scientists is that there is no pure system. Yes, right. there's not. 
and 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 to the uh, the, the the commenter that that said that that the U.S. has aspects of socialism, absolutely yes. we do, uh, and that most European countries are socialist. I would say most European countries have large aspects of socialism to them. Yeah. I wouldn't say that it, that most of them are socialist. Right. Um, yeah, I mean, name me the European country in in which uh, they sit there and ration food. Because people should have equal amounts of food. Yeah, Name yeah. me the European country that doesn't allow uh, 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 free market businesses because everything's con- controlled by by a central even, authority. Even the Soviet Union was brought down by by, by Gorbachev's uh, introduction of perestroika, where he came through and introduced some some, some free market uh, aspects to it. That's what broke down the Soviet Union. And in the end, was people saw what was there. Now. To the uh, the reader that, that that mentioned to me, uh, I had a great conversation on there, uh, very very polite, and I appreciated it. Mm-hmm. Of uh, talking about how they weren't trying to escape socialism; they were trying to escape communism, and that it was it was it was an incorrect meme. I would argue that that's fundamentally uh, uh, ignoring history and the fact that the reason the wall went up in the first place was because. At the end of World War II, they divided Germ- divided Berlin into the east and west. And if you know where Berlin wa- is, it's not on the border. It's it's deep in Soviet territory. Mm-hmm. It's way in there. And what was happening was people were fleeing communist Berlin for capitalist Berlin on such a large scale that they had to put a plan in place. And literally overnight, within a matter of about eight hours, they were able to string up this wire People that went to bed on the wrong side of the uh, of, of the wall weren't able to go home uh, the next day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, well, and and the reason why is because they were fleeing socialism. They weren't yeah. fleeing the, the the communist side of it. And, and to be fair, the USSR had problems outside of its economic system. Sure, sure. Yeah. I I think back to a story, I forget what the name of the party was, that the USSR was the the major party, but they they announce uh, at at a party-like convention that um, Stalin was coming out. He wasn't even out yet. They announced he was coming out. Ten minutes of applause. Yeah, Yeah. ten minutes of applause. People got up and started applauding. How long is too long, long to applaud? You know, you might say two minutes, three minutes. People applauded. I think it was 11 and a half was like the actual number. And the reason they sit there and applaud for 11 and a half minutes, finally somebody broke it. A Nobody local, wanted to be the person that stopped. Yeah. yeah, the local shop owner said, fuck this, stopped applying and sat down. And eventually people slowly started doing it. That local shop owner was arrested soon after yeah, yeah. for breaking the 11 and a half minutes of applause. Yeah. Now, that's a problem outside of their economic system. I'll completely and, agree. And one and one that people could flee from. Yes. And, and fair enough. Yeah. But let's look at another system. Okay, who's who's does have some authoritarian issues, but their main issue is around resource allocation. Let's look at Venezuela for a little bit. Okay, um, their problem is starvation due to due to resource allocation. In fact, the saving grace that has come up lately has been black markets within them. Now you can you can sit there and argue to me that that resource those resources that was a, a bad implementation of socialism that those resources could have been allocated better. And I completely agree with you. I completely agree with you. And I don't think any one person has the capacity to do that kind yeah, of a yeah. job. You sit there, forget forget a nation. A nation's ridiculous. Look at your local town. And you tell me which people need exactly which resources, how it's going to help business. Local city municipalities aren't good at this They task. can't do it. They yeah. can't do it. Yeah. You know, and you're going to explain to me sometimes, how socialism could be correctly implemented? Sometimes in your household, you're not good at that. <laughs> I, I agree. You yeah. know, they're, they're, yeah. As to who you know, who uses the most resources. Yeah. Sometimes we're not good at that at the household How level. many family arguments have come up because yeah. you use you more use of this? the bathroom yeah. for too long. Yeah, yeah. Or, or we don't yeah. have any food because you... This this is a common thing. Now you're blowing that up to millions of people. That's yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, it, you know, and you, you mentioned Venezuela, but Soviet Union. Talk about their five year plan, six year plan, seven year plans, dozen year plans. All these plans they had. What did it in, in fact do? It, it in fact uh, destroyed their economy. Uh, go look at the Aral Sea right now and, and, and see what happened. The Aral Sea has almost completely disappeared because one of these plans was we're going to feed the people by by taking this this desert and turning it into a uh, a place to grow food for them. So they pumped all this water out of the Aral Sea, and it's it, it's created this this massive problem. Yeah, uh, plans like that don't work, and it doesn't work because on a large scale, 
communism and socialism doesn't work. You know, you know who it worked for? It worked pretty well for Jesus and his disciples. That was a communist idea that worked. Mm -hmm. It worked okay in California when you had 12 people living in a commune. It worked okay there. Uh, where it didn't work, didn't work real well for Charles Manson and his little group, and it hadn't worked real well on any national scale. Yeah, and and, and to be fair to to the, the 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 socialist proponents, there are places where socialism is an effective. And I'm going to catch some heat from some of my yeah, friends. For where this. it works better than others. Yeah, where where it works better than others. I agree. But one thing that leads to people fleeing from socialism is socialism, by its nature, is antithetical to freedom. To Absolutely. free will, to, to individual decision making. Socialism requires force. Well, I, I wouldn't even go so far. I would say when you talk about the USSR and you talk about a government implementation, the only tool that a government has is to hit people, right? Whether whether you're talking about them hitting people directly because they're trying to leave or whether you're talking about some tax implementation where they go in and take money from, yeah. from people and give it to other people. Force those, doesn't have to be physical. Yeah, and if those people don't pay their money, then they either come in and physically take their property, and if they refuse to give their property, they hit them, right? Yeah. So, so a government's only tool there is force. So a government implementation of socialism is a force implementation. Let's talk about a few voluntary implementations, right? Let's talk about the communes for yeah, just a second. Yeah. This is a situation in which people are free to come and go as they please, and there's no there theoretically is no force there. I mean, we can look at individual situations where that's gotten out of hand, but theoretically there's no force there because if you don't like it, get out. But I would ask those proponents of socialism who argue this as, as a good alternative. Now I, I, I tend to like this implementation of socialism, but I'd ask them to examine their own views and how that fits into other views they have. Because a lot of these people and not universally, but a lot of these people argue about the horrendous situation that businesses in free market situations put people in by using up local resources, land, uh, uh, maybe maybe uh, uh, food, and how they put people in a bad situation by excluding them from that if they can't meet the system requirements. But isn't this implementation of socialism where you say, if you don't do what we say, you got to get out. Isn't that the exact same thing with their resources? Sure, sure. Aren't they? Yeah, go ahead. It, 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 you, I, I, hold, I hold to the evidence or, or the fact that, that you cannot have socialism without force. Mm -hmm. You cannot because you're requiring somebody to limit what they use. You're requiring everything to be the same. Yeah. Okay? Uh, so socialism in our own country can't be done without force. Uh, our public school system is a socialized system mm -hmm. without a doubt. There's force used there. If your kid, you don't send your kid to school, somebody will show up at your house eventually. Mm -hmm. You'll go to court. Uh, uh, our, our public health care option that we that we have today, there is force there. If you don't participate in it, they will take it out of your uh, out of your check, or, or you'll get it. You'll, you'll get get busted for taxes. Mm -hmm. uh, don't pay your taxes one day. See see what happens. Uh, you cannot have it without force. Yeah. yeah. Well, and, and now, others and, others might argue you just can't have government without force, and that that's probably true too. Yeah, and, and I would ask uh, so, some of the more extremist proponents of socialism who try and claim this vast spectrum that I talked about earlier to look at their beliefs and 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 really scrutinize what they're calling socialism because I think calling small amounts of socialism in any government program and saying that's a socialist state is as absurd as a libertarian coming through. And, or a capitalist coming through and saying that if you have any amount of personal wealth that you're allowed to collect, that that is a capitalist or, or yeah. libertarian the state. The premier of the Soviet Union owns some land, so it's capitalist. Yeah. It yeah, doesn't and, work that way. Yeah, and, and I think that's an absurdity for them to, to – now, the libertarians and capitalists aren't doing that because they don't want to claim those, those <laughs> crowds, right? Yeah. The, the socialists are, 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 are grabbing this vast, the, 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 these vast swaths of things because they do want to claim a little bit more of this. And I, I think we need to ask the question, why is that? Why do they want to claim yeah. this, this very capitalistic system with socialist parts as socialism? And then once we answer that question, we can then say, so what – what can we take from both these systems and, and make a, a good, workable, mixed economy? Because that's all we're ever going to find. That's right. That's right. But, hey, you know what? This was fun to do. I think we covered this, didn't we? I think so. Hey, uh, thank you for your comments on that. Uh, if you don't like what we said or if you do like what you said, just, you know, go down there and put some more on it, right? Yeah, do that. Tell us some yeah. more about it.
<laughs> tell us some more about it. Oh, you want them to tell us? Some I more want about them it. to tell us some more about. Oh, it. Okay, I think we're cool. good. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, I think we're good. All right. Uh, we hope you guys have enjoyed. Uh, that was our response to some comments that we got on a post we made about uh, fleeing from socialism. Uh, so if you are watching this or have watched this, I guess at this point, and you have no idea what we're talking about, hop onto our Facebook feed. In the it's, description, it's, we're yeah, we'll link to it. Yeah, that, we'll link to it in the description. If we remember, yeah. you know. If we remember. <laughs> I'll, I'll make a note real quick. Anyway, um, don't forget to like, share, heart, subscribe on whatever podcast platform or social that you're using. Um, and cheers. We'll see you in the next episode. After a while, brothers. Cheers. <laughs>